With Halloween coming in a few days, is the perfect time for scary movies. Gateway Film Center is preparing for the event Nightmare Film Festival, which will offer a variety of the scary movies from around the world. Hunter has more on this story. Gateway Film Center, the independent movie theater here on Ohio State's campus, is now preparing for the Nightmares Film Festival. This film festival will offer many different films from many filmmakers from the United States to the UK to Austria. I'm here to get some information on this upcoming event. Gateway Film Center is known for displaying some unique films from around the world. With its emphasis on the independent film industry and Halloween just around the corner, the festival was developed to honor both of them. I talked to one of the creators of this event to get some more information. Nightmares Film Festival is uh, the first truly international horror film festival to come to Columbus and really the only or one among the only international horror film festivals in Ohio. Um, it's really a collection of the best, the world's best thriller, horror, and midnight movies from all around the world. And they're all coming together in one weekend here at Gateway Film Center. The Nightmares Film Festival will take place October 20th through the 23rd. Hundreds of thousands are expected to pack the house during this four-day event to enjoy screenings of the finest of the horror genre. My favorite part, I think, of the actual festival when it happens will be being around the audience and the filmmakers and watching them interact. Because that's the really cool thing about a film festival is you watch a movie you never would have seen before, you discover you love it, and then there's the person who made it right there. You can talk to them, ask them questions, get to know them, follow their career. All right, as you can see, this event takes lots of preparation. With it bringing in so many submissions that they need to be filtered out so they can find the best quality sources. As you can see, the audience is very excited for this up upcoming event, and in the spirit of Halloween, I thought I'd give it some exposure as well. Reporting for Buckeye TV, I'm Hunter Wright. 26 years of Italian festival fun. Our Buckeye TV reporter, Elizabeth, is here to give us the scoop on this cultural event. One of Columbus's premier cultural festivals, the Columbus Italian Festival, celebrated its 26th year this month. Buckeye TV was there to get the scoop. <laughs> These are uh, bumbalones. Um, right now, what I'm making is our samples. Some I just cut up and make random sizes. Let them rise for a couple hours, and then you uh, deep fry them. It's official. NBC decided to part ways with Today Show host Billy Bush after he was shown on video with Donald Trump making sexually aggressive comments towards women. As of now, there are no potential replacement for Bush on the Today Show. Ohio State cares about the health of its students and faculty. This includes a smoke-free campus. But do people actually abide by this? Let's hear from Tia Williams. According to a survey recently published in the Journal of Health and Social Behavior, Youth are more likely to smoke in areas without a smoking ban as opposed to areas with a smoking ban. Ohio State is one of those areas with a smoking ban campus wide. However, people still smoke all over campus. Me and you and I people smoking will be like on high street. I guess I mean I guess it's kinda of hard to catch people in the eyes so people know they can get away with it and I'm like kind of so it's a good place for it. Recent findings provide some of the most significant evidence to date on impact of smoking bans on youth smokers. However, despite Ohio State's smoking ban, 11 pounds of cigarette butts were cleaned up in April 2016, which is one pound more than before the ban was even put in place. Ohio State has been tobacco-free since 2014. Stay tuned as we bring you political Halloween costume ideas, how international students, sh students study in the Cat Cafe.